The skills development programs under the Ministry of Higher Education being offered to various training institutions across the country are not only imparting skills to trainees but are also promoting innovation and employment. Chodot Training Center in Choma District which offers skills training in design, cutting and tailoring, carpentry and food production has retained two of its former students who have been engaged to make reusable sanitary pads for girls in rural areas. The school has been contracted to make reusable sanitary pads for the next three years by a non-governmental organization which will in turn distribute the pads to girls in rural schools. Sometimes girls miss school because they have an embarrassment during the month and especially in rural areas they don't have anywhere to go, they don't have um, a shop where they can buy these sort of things. But the reason that we are making these things uh, is because for two things or even three, one we want to be able to give our young tailors who have just done a three months course with Tabata some experience. So we're giving Orient six months experience, uh, almost like entrepreneurship experience, whereby she can learn how to do this business. Uh, two, it's for income generation. 21-year-old Orient Mkombwe, who dropped out of school in grade 9, has found hope after Chodot Training Center offered her employment upon completing her tailoring training. <laughs> Apart from creating employment to former students, this innovation will also help keep girls in school as the sanitary pads will enable them to manage their menses. But we really want to help those girls in rural areas to be able to stay in school so they won't be like Orient only getting to grade 9, maybe they'll be able to get to grade 12 and then move on to something else. The Skills Development Fund was established under the Skills Development Levy Act No. 46 of 2016 and is administered by the Minister of Higher Education. The fund is a long-term financing strategy of the technical education, vocational and entrepreneurship training in the country. Henry Himonde, Fozanis News, Inchoma, Southern Province.